Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you track time base as it relates to tempo in Reaper. Now, this is one of the more common questions asked about Reaper. I think I see this question two or three times a week on audio forums, chat rooms, and even on Facebook. So I thought it was important that I explained how it worked. I have a project open right now, and the tempo is set right down here to 120 beats per minute. Now let's import an audio file. Right over here, I have a piano loop. Let's bring it in. And I happen to know that the tempo of this loop is 95 beats per minute. So let's play it at the beginning of the project, along with the metronome. So you can see it's way off. But if we change the tempo to match, right down here, make it 95, it's going to time stretch or change the rate of the audio file. See right here, the rate changes. So it's still going to be off with the click. It's just slowed down. So what we need to do first, before we change the project tempo, is change the time base. So let's undo that. Let's go to our project settings. Right over here is a time base for items envelopes and markers. And by default, it's set to beats, position, length, and rate. So it's going to time stretch to fit that new tempo. But if we don't want it to do that, we could change it here. Let's change it to time. And now watch what happens. We'll change the tempo to 95. And now if we play the track with the metronome, Now it's in time. But now if we want to change the tempo again, maybe it's too slow. If we change it to say 115, it doesn't stretch the audio. So it's out of time again. So what we need to do, once it's locked up, let's undo that, is put it back in our project settings to beats, position, length, and rate. So now that it's locked at 95, now if we change the tempo, it's going to stretch to that new tempo. Let's change it to 115. It stretches to that tempo. See right here? Change the rate. Let's make it faster. Let's make it 125. and it's still locked. Now let's bring the tempo back to 95. Because I want to show you one other thing. If we go to the project settings, this setup right here is for all our tracks, or the default for our tracks. But we can change it on a track by track basis. So let's leave it here as the default, Let's create a new track. Let's put it up here, make them smaller, and let's import a voiceover. Bring it in. Let's hear it. Here's an analysis of last year's investments. As you can see, we've consistently improved our. Now let's say the tempo is too slow. If we make it faster, let's make it 115. It's going to time stretch everything, not just our piano. It also time stretches the voiceover. Here's an analysis of last year's investments. So this is also sped up. We don't want that. So let's undo it. And let's change the time base just for this track. Right click over here. Go to set track time base and change just this track to time. So now this track isn't going to stretch, but this one still will. So let's change this to 120. Notice the rate changed on the piano, but not on the voiceover. 
Here's an analysis of last year's investments. As you can see. So it's great for working with audio, like voiceover, or even working with video, where you don't want to time stretch the video file. Just the music, right down here. And there's one other option I haven't showed you yet. If we go to the project settings, there's another option down here, beats position only. This works a bit differently. Let's leave it on beats, position length, and rate as the default for now, and we could change it on a track-by-track -track basis. Let me show you why you'd want that setting. Let's add a few more sounds. I'm gonna add a kick, and a snare. And let's create a beat with these samples. And let's duplicate that to create a pattern. Now let's hear it. Here's an analysis of last year's investments. As you can see, we've consistently improved our bottom line in all sectors. Now let's say I wanted to make this faster. Let's go to 130. And once again, the piano got stretched, the voiceover didn't, but now the kick and snare also got stretched. See right here? And because they're individual samples, we probably don't want that. We just want to change their positioning without changing their rate. Let's hear it. Here's an analysis of last year's investments. As you can see, it's still in time, but the samples are stretched and they really don't have to be. So let's undo that. And let's select both these two tracks, right click it, and go to their time base. Set track time base. And let's choose this option for these two beats, position only. Now, if we change the tempo, the position of these items are going to change, but it's not going to time stretch like the piano loop because it really doesn't need to. Each one of these samples is just a hit. There's no point in time stretching them. So it works for drum samples, effects items, anything where tempo isn't important. The only thing that's important is where it lands. So now let's change the tempo again to 130. And now notice, it's still in time. Here's an analysis of last year's investments. But the items aren't time stretched. They just change their position based on the bars and beats to be in time with the new tempo. Let's go a bit faster. Go to 140. Here's an analysis of last year's Well, let's go slower to 80. Here's an analysis of last year's investments. As you can see, we can And once again, the voiceover doesn't change, the piano time stretches to follow the tempo, and the kick and snare just have their positions moved. They don't time stretch. So those are the three different choices we have for the time base of our tracks. It could be time, beats, position length and rate, or beats, position only. And it's set up here by default in our project settings, but we could also change it on a track by track basis. By right clicking, go to set track time base, and choose it right here just for that track. So I hope it made this issue a bit clearer and easy to understand. And that's track time base regarding tempo in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!